Welcome to Wits, or What's in the Shed. Dewadag Systems International at Industrial Engravers. Why would you describe yourself as an innovative company? Uh, I guess to maintain our market leader positions we obviously have to constantly evolve and innovate and it really comes down to our people uh, and driving that challenge to uh, maintain that leader position. Welcome to WITS. Thank you very much. Scott. So Joe, what do you do and why do you do it well? As the name suggests, we predominantly produce engraving for industry, mainly on stainless steel and mainly for the mining sectors. One of the interesting things about DSI you don't normally see in a business is in DSI they've got an office called the Continuous Improvement Office. This maps out all your processes, Derek, yeah, does that, it? Yeah, that's exactly what it does. This is a whole of business process, every, uh, every process ev and relating to work instructions and so it covers, you know, this is the production area, purchasing, sales, so yeah, whole of business, everything's involved, all mapped out. So Print out the, uh, the drawings. If it requires to be drawn, it comes over to this process here and they all get drawn up. And the reason for that is to eliminate uh, the machine is worrying about drawings. It's all done in here. Once it's been drawn up, it gets proofread twice. It's good to see a member of HunterNet on that screen there doing a bit of work for them, which is great. And then once that's all been checked, double checked, it then heads downstairs. Hey, we caught a bloke over here having his breakfast. It certainly is a big shed. Yeah, people don't realise when you come in the front office how big this facility is, but it goes back a long way. And then he just sends the job across to the controller, and away it goes. Crucial that your cutters are sharpened correctly, which is something we do ourselves. We have one of our guys here, Keith, he's been with me for about eight years. He's developed the knowledge to do all of our maintenance and service. So I've got Ian here who's been 40 years in this shed. Next month? Next, next May. Next May. May. Um, May next year. I'm sure he's got more stories than me to tell what's changed in this shed over those 40 years going back some years now. Derek. Yeah, it's, it's 17 now. No, it's not 40, but it's still a few. Yeah, he wasn't shaven then, was he? <laughs> <laughs> no, probably not. He's only a youngster. <laughs> <laughs> The quality that was coming out at the end, because of the production um, planning and it was in place was a fantastic product. One of the big things we do here, or the product we produce actually goes offshore. And so what we developed is a facility where a truck can come in with a container on the back and basically reverse straight down here onto the dock and then in, the forklift can load the container straight on the truck and then the truck can go off. So the uh, Straight to the port. Straight to the port. Product ready to go here? Absolutely, it's a it's a fairly big site. Um, you know, we've got product uh, here going off to the be hot dip galvanised. We've got product being loaded over here going on the truck. Especially developed uh, corrosion coating with Armagal.
obviously it gets packed up and then go on the dispatch counter. Oh, hang on. Better not. So we're going to look at what's in the shed. That's what it's called. <laughs>